All right, how are you class? This is your professor, Dr. Jace Austin, and this is the last week. Yes, that is right. The last week of your 7301 class, which is your introduction to information technology course. Uh, as I am recording this on Tuesday, July the 23rd, 2019, it appears that everyone in the class right now has at least a B, except for um, a couple students who have some outstanding work. So a few things. Um, first of all, if you do have outstanding work, work that you have not turned in yet, including work from the beginning of the semester that is well past the due date, uh, you need to email me and we need to talk about a few things, okay? So my email address is austinj at missouri.edu. Um, I'm not necessarily going to flunk you if you have not turned in everything. There, I've got to see what's going on with you and I'm going to uh, proceed accordingly once I have uh, heard from you and once I know a little better what's going on with you and why you have not turned in your assignments. And there may be some leeway for me to record and incomplete for you and have you complete the work uh, during the fall semester. So yes, if you have some outstanding assignments, I need to talk to you and you need to be in contact with me very, very soon. Now, Having said that, you do pretty much just have this one assignment left. This is your IT paper, and it is uh, it is due on Friday. So, um, again, today is the 26th. I mean, it's the 23rd. It is due on the 26th, which is a Friday, and, well, which is this coming Friday. And, uh, yes, it is kind of a demanding assignment. I get that. Um, I am not going to be grading you all quite as harshly as I will be uh, grading students during the spring and fall semesters when I teach this class again, which I think will be in the spring of 2020, but I'm not sure. Uh, but having said that, yes, I'm going to be a little more lenient with you all because you all had way less time to finish your paper than the spring and fall classes do. However, I am going to need you all to also go ahead and get your um, discussion board prompts in. So uh, ignore this week language here, week 11 and week 14. That should have been changed to module 11 and module 14. But what I'm going to say to that is um, you still have time, and I want you all to go ahead and do this um, as soon as you turn in your papers and don't forget. So I actually have, um, it looks like most of you have done the IT paper topics discussion board, but as far as the IT paper summaries discussion board, Looks like I've only got nine of 35 of you so far, which is okay because you haven't completed the paper yet. So, but once you complete the paper, do not forget to participate in that discussion board prompt. And that way I will have everything that I need from you. And the last thing I want to do is fail anyone. Uh, or, you know, I want people, I don't even really want to give anybody a C. I'll do it if I need to. Uh, if you earn a C, you'll get a C, but I'm hoping everyone gets at least a B in the class. So make sure you finish up that discussion prompt. And you are free, actually, to, uh, um, until I actually record the grade in a discussion prompt, um, you are, you may be penalized for lateness, but uh, if there's a discussion prompt that you haven't done yet and I have not recorded the grade yet, you may want to go ahead and sneak that in because um, I'm going to be mostly checking to make sure that you did it. I'm not necessarily going to be looking at the date that close. And I have purposely delayed 
uh, grading of discussion board prompts in order to give you all a little bit of a grace period to catch up when you need it to. But once I put the grades in, the grades are in. So just be aware of that. And uh, once you are aware of that, then like I said, uh, most of you are doing just fine in the course. And for those of you who are not uh, doing well on the IT paper, should be a way to write the ship for you. Now, I am going to try to keep this under 10 minutes. So there are just a few more things that I want to talk about really quickly before I let you all go and say my goodbyes and cry because I will miss you all so much. So uh, let's get into that. So first of all, uh, one thing that I want to say about library technology is that we definitely, this was actually an advertising campaign that um, I don't know if Mizzou actually pulled it off because this was before I got here. But uh, Mizzou had at least flirted with, well, that's not cool. Uh, Mizzou had at least flirted with the idea, there we go, had at least flirted with the idea at one point of making this an advertising campaign. Again, I don't know if they actually pulled it off because I was not here yet. But we're not going around carrying books and shushing people all the time anymore. And for our future generations, we have got to overcome this stereotype. I'm surprised that the stereotype has been so um, enduring uh, as we have become a more digital society, but it has. And so we've got to do something about that. So um, I really liked this idea for an advertising campaign because this is what librarians are doing these days, folks. We are using technology. We are not shushing people. We probably spend more time working with technology than we do with books at this point. Uh, so that new stereotype is overdue. It's needed. And I think that if we do not do something, then we stand the risk of losing Generation Z and not having them be library users. And that is not what we want in generations after Generation Z as well. So there needs to be some intervention there. And the last thing, so I wanted you all to get your minds uh, going with that because again, this is a technology course and this is uh, related to technologies and stereotypes in the library field. The final thing that I wanna just share before I let you all go this is an update actually of, um, well, I shouldn't say an update, but one of your readings was the top uh, technology tech trends in libraries of 2018. A similar thing has not been released yet for 2019. However, um, we do have tech trends for 2019 covered by American libraries. And so this might be something that you all, if you have time, uh, just Google Tech Trends Library Tech Leaders Recommend Their Favorite Tips and Tools, uh, March 1st, 2019. And you can go through these and just look at some of these things. Um, I have a feeling that these things are going to be very, very important to the future of our field. Um, so you might want to look those over, start thinking about becoming familiar with these things, even as a student. And that way you're not being too totally caught off guard once you actually enter the professional librarian arena. So uh, that's what I am going to put there. And from there, I just wanna uh, just share a few housekeeping notes um, and then we'll close this out. Uh, it will go a little bit over 10 minutes, so I apologize. but. Final few things that I want to say, um, just because our course is ended does not mean that my service to you has ended. So if you need uh, letters of recommendation, if you want some advice, if you want to run something by me, 
uh, I am just an email away. Email is much better for me than phone, just so you know. But I am an email away. Email is austinj at missouri.edu. And you can call me if you want, 816-235-1875. However, like I said, uh, the best way to contact me is through email. Um, so there's that. I am going to encourage all of you all to keep making connections through this program. See if you might be able to get at least one thing published while you are a student if possible. Um, go to your state library association conference if you can, and not everybody can, but students get a pretty discounted rate for most state library association conferences. So, uh, and that's whether you live in Missouri or if you live, I don't know where else everyone else lives because you're all over the country. And we've even got some people, uh, we've got at least one student in China, one of your classmates. Um, but for those of you who can be in uh, a state that has an annual or uh, twice or uh, once every two years uh, type of conference deal, uh, go ahead and go to your state association conferences if you can under that student rate network, get to meet people and try to do some volunteering, try to meet some of your classmates, especially if you live in Jeff City or if you live in the Ozarks or Columbia or Kansas City or St. Louis or any of the metros, please try to link up with some of your classmates uh, and some of the other students in the program because you are going to need each other. Uh, you all are going to be coming up on the job market sooner than you think. You're going to need resources that include friendly faces that you can collaborate with. So please don't miss those opportunities there. Um, and uh, yeah, just don't be, don't be afraid to reach out either to me or to any of the other professors uh, in this program. We're all here to help. We're all here to serve. I've been called unapproachable previously. I was dumbfounded when that happened because, um, you know, no one in the South has ever called me unappro unapproachable. But as I said in my first lecture, uh, maybe that's just what it is. It might just be regional variance. I don't know. But I am not unapproachable. I am very easy to talk to. If you need me, if you need somebody else, just reach out, please. And with that, that's going to be my time. Uh, thank you for being such a wonderful class. You all worked your asses off. You should be very proud of yourselves. Uh, I enjoyed having you. This is Dr. Chase Austin. You all are summer 2019 for 7301. We are done. It's been fun. I gotta run. Peace.